Hello, God bless you. Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening. This is Agumai, the prophetic spiritualist. I'm greeting you according to your time over you there in your country or when you see this video. I'm uploading this as a video, not a live video. Because I think when I'm doing live video, network always disturbs that some of you don't understand my teachings. Please pay attentively. This teaching, if I'm to say, is mainly for Christians. For Christians and other religions that is not traditional. Please, traditional people, avoid my this video. Avoid it. It's not for you. Because some of us, the Christians, has been misled in this online, all these online spiritualists. I came to make this video, and this is going to be the last time I will talk about this. If you don't want to understand it, or you don't want to listen, you don't want to believe it, then do what you think is right for you. It's your life, it's your destiny, and it's none of my business. My own is to tell you the facts, the real thing you need to understand and know. But yours is to heed it to the advice or not. I won't force you. Somebody came to my DM yesterday and told me, he said, Mom, I'm a Christian. And I want to settle my spiritual spouse. But someone, a spiritualist I met online, told me I cannot settle my spiritual spouse. I cannot separate from them. I can only appease them. That they will begin to bless me. They will begin to protect me. They will begin to open doors for me. They will begin to do this. And I told the person, okay, please wait and watch my video today. Because I don't have strength to begin to explain to one person. See, I'm talking to Christians now. Not just baby Christian. I didn't mean baby Christian. I mean born again. That is those people that are genuinely serving God from their heart. That is what born again means. Those people that have conscience about eternity. About where they will go. Life after death. See all this giri 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 we are doing, all these things we are doing in order in it, that is at the cost, at the quest of making ends needs, making money or looking for a better life. Let's also understand that there is a life after death. I don't want to argue that part or to talk about that part. Whatever you believe, heed to it. Are you getting me? But what I came to explain is that, see. As a Christian, as a genuine servant of God, let me put it this way, not just Christian, let me put it this way, as a genuine servant of God, as someone that has conscience about God, hmm? listen, if you have a spiritual spouse, Bible calls them succubus and incubus, that is, succubus and incubus are disturbing your life. You have a spiritual wife or husband, and you want to be free from it. See, let me tell you the real truth. Casting and binding it can never work. Take it or leave it. You may have prayed, fasted, do all kind of things, and they stop coming to your dream. That is for those that their own appear to them in the dream, or they stop coming to you physically. That is for those that their own comes physical or they stop disturbing you that doesn't mean they have gone they are still there though just that just that they are they are moot they are quiet washing your ignorance when they want to surface again definitely they will come out again take it or leave it so now how do you end it as a christian or as a genuine servant of god or as a genuine servant of jesus let's put it this way because some of uh, a baby christian said ah, i believe in god but i don't believe in jesus no problem 
I'm talking to Christian now. Every other religious, please, just today teaching is not for you. I will come for you next time. This is for Christians, those that believe in Jesus. Are you getting me? Because me, I'm a Christian, and Jesus remains the head of all principalities and powers in my life. Are you getting me? Every power in water are under Jesus. Sometimes I go to do water work, and the, the spirit will start manifesting in the person's life. And the person will begin to speak that this person has been casting and binding them, blah, 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 blah. Don't they know that even Jesus she's talking about is their master? They are under Jesus. They are serving under Jesus because they are all principalities under Jesus. Meaning Jesus is also a principality but is their head. The same way they used to have class captain, the same way they used to have leader in everything. That is how it is. Jesus is their leader. Are you getting me? So now, how do you settle it or work up, do go about it as a Christian? Some people say you must not separate, you must not settle, you only are peace so that they will bless you. Let me tell you, there is nothing good that can ever come out from a spiritual spouse. Leave it or take it. If you refuse to take it, you will keep on doing spiritual settlement 20 times and nothing will be done. They will still even torment you the more. The more you do it, they will even take extra mile to torment the hell out of you. That is why you see somebody that have done spiritual spouse work 20 times, things got worse. Yes, because you are doing it wrongly. As a Christian, you don't settle, you don't appease your spiritual spouse. You settle, you appease, and you separate from him because there is nothing he can ever offer you. If you appease, do you know what it means to appease? Appease means to make somebody happy, to calm somebody down. Yes, you calm him down and you still leave him in your life and you think you will be with another man, he will be happy with you. Mm -mm. Let me tell you, even the spirits are jealous. That is why our God is a jealous God. Are you getting me? It's like when you are doing something wrong, you say you have asked for forgiveness. So therefore, or therefore, let me not continue doing wrong thing. Let me tell you, when God wants to strike you, he will still strike you. In as much as you have pleaded him for forgiveness. Hey, Lord, my Father, oh God Almighty, I want to commit, um, I want to commit, um, I want to commit fornication. Please forgive me. Oh, have mercy on me. Uh, let me forni for, uh, fornicate just this once more. I tell you, it does not work. Almighty will still punish you for fornicating. That is how it is. You abuse your spiritual spouse. I say, okay, now let me now marry earthly husband. Uh, I have abused you. Let me marry earthly husband. It doesn't work. He will never allow you. Uh, okay, I've abused you. Uh, let money start coming to my life. Let good things start coming to my life. It will never happen. The only people that gives wealth, the only people that blesses their family is white group in water like i told you there are different categories and types of forces in water the same way we have python kingdom the same way we have a kingdom the same way we have a um, marine kingdom that is where we have white group kingdom they are white they are the pure spirit in water and one of them is angel gabriel angel gabriel is the one in charge of fertility and water take it or leave it browse it check about it ask genuine spiritualists they will explain to you there are white group white group comes in white they wear white all their life is pure whatever they do is pure if you are from white group you must avoid anything negative anything evil you must not do sham because sham will never work for you if you're a white group person sham will never work for you evil will never work for you if you like go and do juju to make money it will not work they will shop your money and run even when they do it for your your, your second your second will work but you it will never work you know why you are not meant to put hand in evil as a white group child how do you know if you're from white group or marriage is through consultation you can be from mary and not be from white group if you are marrying what you need to do is to settle and separate meaning you are not a water child just that you have connection with mary and marine has been dealing with your life see all those people that used to say hey marina we are the marina we are supposed to be rich i tell you if you check your life very well you are not marina you are from white group but marines are dealing with you and destroying things for you there is nothing good that can ever come out from a spiritual spouse you are to give caesar what belongs to 
Caesar and leave. Give Caesar what belongs to Caesar and go back to your belief. Go back to your Jesus that you believe on. Not giving Caesar what belongs to Caesar. You now remain with Caesar. Are you getting me? If you're a water child, you are. if you're from white group, you are peace those ones. You don't separate from them because they are your family and they are the good part of the water. They are one of the good ones that does are also good when you appease them. Ogbanjes are still good when you appease them. Are you getting me? When you appease them doesn't mean you should start going to serve them. You remain there and turn them to your God. Let me tell you, you can only go there, make prayers and offer gifts. The same way you go to church, make prayer and offer offering. Church, that church building does not mean it has become your your God. Your God is a spirit. So the way you go to church, you pray, you offer uh, uh, offering and sacrifice and tithe. That is the same way. If you feel that things are getting tough for you and you are tired and you know you are connected to water, the white group, because they are the only one that blesses. You carry your sacrifice or you give your spiritualist money to buy your sacrifice go there you pray you ask god to help you you ask if you're a christian and you finish everything some of you say will i end it with in the name of jesus me as a spiritualist when i finish doing my work i said in the name of jesus i am done if i offer sacrifice i will say okay well, go uh, look at it take your own thing i mentioned the spirit's name if i offer in the church i didn't go to the river i was okay uh, so, so spirit go now Take it from your leader. I've given him the head of all principalities and power. It depends on how I want to do your own. Mm. Please, I hope you are understanding me. If I Christian, don't start what you cannot finish. Oh. Don't start what will affect your children in the future. See, the same thing you are fighting. You say, uh, my ancestors, uh, my forefathers, they did this, they did that, and now it's affecting me, it's attacking me. That is what you are doing. Oh. Please. If you don't love yourself, think about your future children. Think about your children, those children you gave birth to. Don't start what will affect them. Because when you are no more, they may not find the solution. Please, don't go to and say, uh, I, I, I reject Jesus. I renounce Jesus. He's now uh, water I want to serve. You will now turn yourself to water goddess. That is not how to do it. To go to the river, make your prayers, cast your bread according to the Bible. The Bible said, cast your bread on the on the waters. After so many years, you will go back there and get it. What it means is, go to the river, cast your offerings, and pray for what you want. After some days, after some weeks, after some months, after some years, you will get your results. That is what it means. So, he did not say, go to the river and turn to water goddess. I'm telling you the fact. Stop calling spiritual husband to help you, to favor you, to bless you. It can never bless. Nothing good come out from that darkness. Darkness set of set of spirit forces. It's like somebody going to witch, uh, the witchcraft, saying, witchcraft, bless me, favor me. Who told you? Which is too small, bless. They spoil, they scatter. The only thing you need to do is to know whatever, why they are disturbing you. You separate from them. That is what we call witchcraft separation. You separate them from your life. You get me? So please stop welcoming your spiritual spouse home you are endangering your life and the life of your kids at peace settle and separate from him he's a spirit you are not a human he should understand you is you are a human and a spirit a spirit cannot marry a human except you you know you are dead already are you getting me so when you appease them and say to them and the person do it very well you will find that he will live gently though some of the spiritual spouse are very wicked and heartless but there are still keys keys to get them to come down and leave you to live your life to the fullness god bless you please kindly help me forward this uh, video to your friends so that they will not deviate from their faith they will not start seeing jesus as white man god that is what i'm seeing everywhere now that jesus does not exist jesus is that jesus is this i believe you i accept you or you that believe that jesus is this please hold your heart hold your heart very strong so that you don't start what you cannot finish what you don't know please don't put your head in it you see that one you know all this is still they follow more even if not that one won't kill you hold on first until you are sure that in your life that jesus doesn't exist please and please do you get it please help me share this video share it to your friends share it all platform they need to hear it christians need to hear this please stop dangering your life in the name of welcoming your spiritual spouse into your life look at your unborn kids don't start what they cannot finish 
Another thing I'm coming tomorrow to teach is how to feed your children. So many Christians have been feeding their sheep wrongly and they are raising another altar against their life. Same way your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather raised an altar that you are fight, fighting now. All those ancestral altar, foundational altars. Some of you are raising it now and you don't know it will affect your children in future. In the name of feeding your chi. A Christian, you are feeding your chi. You carry one thing. You say you are pouring a uh, wine, you are pouring Fanta, you are pouring hot drink on it in the name of feeding your sheep. Ah, I pity you. Go, go, go. See, let me tell you, I'm going to teach you on how to feed your chi in my next video as a Christian. In a way, your chi will start working for you. Your chi means your personal spirit. Every human being born on earth has a chi, has personal spirit. As soon as you are born, heaven sent your personal spirit to you because god almighty is not the one that will come down to listen to your prayer point or to bring down your answer mm -mm. the person that listens to your prayer point is your g your personal spirit he carries your prayer request back to the almighty drop it on his table then kept on disturbing the way you, you are praying and disturbing god it's not god that you are talking to it's your chi that will be hearing it or leave it or take it or then your chi we now go to the Almighty and say, please, look at the soul of my person, the blah, blah, blah. Then God Almighty will answer. Give your G the answer to return back to you. Then your G will carry it and come back to you. As a, a, the example in the Bible is Daniel and, and J. Gabriel. When Daniel prayed, and J. Gabriel collected his answer, bringing it down. Then Prince of Persia, being with a uh, wizard of Persia, captured and J. Gabriel and caged him. Yes. Can your she be captured and caged? Yes. When your she is captured and caged, what happens? It will stop working for you. Everything will be stagnant. Everywhere will block. All the whole prayer, you will pray 10 years. Answers will never come. Therefore, you need to also check, is my chi active or not through consultation. God bless you. That is another topic of another day. I love you all. Please help me share this video. Comment. Tell me your mind. And tell me what you see concerning this video. Agawai loves you. I am Agawai, the prophetic spiritualist. The only prophetess with difference. I work with nation. Take care.